to school every day because it's always different. There's always something new. The school spirit at this school, it comes from us, us doing so well, yet having fun while doing it. I like my school because of the different opportunities it offers me. The agriculture helps me learn, it just teaches us responsibilities. All right, do you guys want to plant jalapenos first? Yeah! All right. How do we lift the post? With our knives. This school changes people's lives. Lawmakers in Indiana took a stand when they started the charter school movement. But our purpose was to focus on something that we all live. Since the school is in the middle of agriculture, it made sense that we used agriculture as our theme. Okay, Dave, this is done. Some dirt. dirt. In rural communities, students have less choice about where they go to school. And charter schools, fundamentally for us, are about choice. I think it's just as important for rural communities to have that educational choice that you often see in urban settings and suburban settings. And there's not one school that meets the needs of every student in any state. The, the flow of the day, the style of the education, the level of out-of-the-classroom things that we do here makes it possible for some students to thrive here where they wouldn't be able to thrive in a conventional setting. Divide by five, take the square root. There's no life here when there's no school here. Our school is all we had, and it has kept this community vibrant. Schools and the education provide an opportunity to make the community an attractive place to bring in businesses, bring in talent, bring in economic development. Here's the sunrise over the Nile from 500 feet in the air. I look at what this school has done for our community, even for our parent school, the Moffitt School, how it's inspired them to change and become a better school. Uh, I'm proud to say that because this school is here, we've kept our post office, we've, uh, there's been three new businesses that have come along. I really think that the school is the heart of the town and it's good when community members get involved. Some of the garden produce we would sell in a farmer's market and then the community is able to buy salsa, fresh salsa from what the kids have grown. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna to use to clean the barn. It's a really wonderful experience to be a parent who has a child who is like excited about what's gonna happen at school. But can you see where the hips and the shoulders are on this drawing? Charter schools provide an incredibly important choice so that we have different ways to meet the needs of different children. Everybody's different. We're all individuals, so we're not going to have the same educational needs. Who's going to put their hand under the chicken to get the eggs? I think students need to have a choice in where they go to school because if they are not happy in their environment, they are not going to learn well. We owe it to the child to give them that choice. What? It's your birthday? They have a more vested interest in their education because they have helped choose. But when it comes to parents who are taxpayers, I think they ought to have a say in where their money goes. Good night, Good night. It's important for parents to have a choice because they know their students. They know their children and they know their needs as a student. They need the same access to choices that urban children have. Forget rural schools. So much emphasis is being placed on urban education, but rural schools have so much to offer. And the last one is what? We are an example of a school that is thriving on less money than a regular public school. 
I think that Walton is performing because kids are connected. They love coming to school. They come to school sick. It drives me crazy sometimes. We have students who came to our school in fifth grade unable to read and are now off in college but pursuing their, their passions and dreams. All right, you're all set. We've done very well academically. We've shown growth. We've had great state assessment scores. We've met standard of excellence every year. It just seems like we continue to improve every year because of a lot of it because of the freedoms that we have with how we teach. So what happens next? Our population has grown so much we actually have a waiting list for kindergarten students through the year 2018. So if you think about it, that's mothers who are pregnant and they're calling to get their unborn children on the waiting list. If you've not already given me your card back, hold it up in the air so I can come and get it. I think there's a need for other charter schools to pop up in other rural parts of the country. This is a vibrant educational community and amazing things are happening here. I think that other rural communities could have exactly what we have here if they can dream it.